What's up, everyone? It's me, Kiki Solana, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. Tomorrow might be Super Bowl Sunday, but today is Super Saturday for BYU Athletics. We've got so much going on, so I'm starting things out here at the Marriott Center. I'm going to hit women's basketball, men's volleyball, and women's soccer. Buckle up. It's going to be a good day. Let's do it. BYU women's basketball is about to take on LMU. This is their third game this week. That means three games in five days. A lot of that is due to games being postponed and then having to be rescheduled. But hey, I'm just happy to be here today. Here's Graham at four threes in Los Angeles against the Lions. That's her first here in the first half. It's halftime. BYU leads 37-23. Everything is looking good so far, but here's the thing. Our Cougs are all about looking good on and off the court. We see every game they post their pre-game fits. They are all about the drip. But today, you might notice that they're wearing a lot of pink. It is honoring those who have been or continue to be affected by cancer. In addition to that, they are also wearing Nike Power of One shirts. This honors Black History Month. The Cougars did okay against the Lions in LA as Harding takes it in. BYU sits on top 62 to 45. Our Coots are led by Paisley Johnson Harding with 14 points and Tegan Graham with 13 points. LMU has never won here in the Marriott Center. They're 0 and 8 and BYU leads the series 18 to 2. Looks like that is going to be extended for our Coots here today. UTV. BYU wins it 69 to 50. We love a good BYU win, but we still have two more games. So let's head to the volleyball match. Welcome to the Smithfield House where our BYU Cougars are taken on UCLA. Our Cougs did face the Bruins on Thursday. Unfortunately, we fell to them in that match. Will Stanley was out with a sprained ankle. He will be available to play tonight. That's all good news. Stanley's going to set this high for Garcia Fernandez. Wow. And that is a heck of a play. That's amazing. That was, was. That was excellent. And then a block by Young the solo, and that'll do it. 25, 16. BYU leads the match one set to none. Look, BYU and UCLA might be a part of the MPSF conference, but because a lot of UCLA teams are Pac-12 teams, they are wearing masks for the match. This is due to Pac-12 protocol. Additionally, we do have UCLA fans here. This is great for them because they can't go to matches in California as a part of California's COVID restrictions. We're happy to have all fans we can have here. Because of this atmosphere, it's actually loud, guys. I love it. Gardena! Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Yep, mom and dad are here. And the ace from Gardini. Wow, that's a good way to end that set. I told you guys that these are both MPSF teams, but I got to make sure you realize this is a rivalry. BYU and UCLA in volleyball is intense. But here's the thing, the rivalry is just not on the court. It's between brothers too, Ian Eschenberg for UCLA and Zach Eschenberg for BYU. Oh, not that time. Oh, the block by Jibrito Fajera. All right, guys, I hate to leave in set three, but it looks like our guys have it under control. So on to soccer. I made it to Harriman for BYU women's soccer. But before we get into business, here, let me take you back to the Smith Fieldhouse because BYU men's volleyball took care of business sweeping UCLA. I told you they had it under control. Kevin Coburn into the net, and that That's will do it. 25-17, BYU sweeps UCLA. Now things here are getting underway in the second half, but let me catch you up on what happened in the first half. Four goals by BYU. Two from Cameron Tucker, one from Bella Foligno, and one from Rachel McCarthy. Meanwhile, Utah has scored just one goal. So, feeling pretty good about things. Let's see what they got for us in the second half. We'll try to cut inside. There's a cross and a save by Smith. Since the girls are clearly dominating here, let me get you to another team that dominated this weekend. Number 12, BYU Gymnastics took down number 15, Southern Utah, with a team score of 196.825. And while I'm hitting you with the headlines, I want to go ahead and welcome our new offensive line coach, Daryl Funk. Can't wait to see what he does with our big beauties. Good, and, and those are the words of uh, Michaela's boyfriend as that ball 
is pushed in front in a strange goal. Cameron Tucker with the hat trick. Okay, I am loving this matchup so far. And this is one I've been waiting for for a while. In fact, the last time that these two teams faced off was September 6, 2019. That is because women's soccer, like all other sports, has been affected by COVID-19. However, for them, it means that their season was moved from fall to spring. Not only that, but clearly BYU isn't playing on their home field at Southfield. Instead, they're here in Harriman playing at Zions Bank Training Center. BYU takes down Utah 5-1. to one. That means our Cougs now lead this series 23-7-2. Okay, now that is amazing, and it's even more amazing when we have not one, not two, but three wins this Saturday. I mean, it doesn't get better than that. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. I will see you guys next time. As always, go Cougs!